Yo, what's up guys, CJ Paul here and Philip. Hello there everyone. And today we are reacting to the Netherlands and why is the Netherlands so rich? So, have you ever been to the Netherlands? No, I have not, but I, I, I hope one day I'll, I'll be able to give yeah. them a visit. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I've been to Amsterdam and I think that's the only place I know. Um, but let's watch this and guys don't forget to like and subscribe and you know let us know a little bit more about the Netherlands shout out to you guys if you're watching shout out to the Netherlands let's go this small country in northern Europe is home to just over 17 million people a good part of the territory is below sea level which is why it is famous for its engineering works to face the challenges of constant flooding mm -hmm. it is also famous for being one of the most stable and wealthy countries in the world by 2017, according to the World Bank, it had a GDP per capita of $48,000 higher than countries like Australia, wow. Canada, or the United Kingdom. Wow. The questions addressed in the video are, what reasons explain the wealth of the Netherlands? How did the discovery of a natural gas field almost ruin the Dutch economic miracle? And how did such a small country become the world's second largest food exporter? This video is One from Economics Nation. Check it out in the comments is trade. or the description. Its main port, the port of Rotterdam, is the largest in Europe, ranking 10th among the world's busiest ports in 2019, nice. above even the port of Los Angeles in the United States. Wow. The port of Rotterdam plays a very important role in the export and import of goods and raw materials, not only in the Netherlands, but also in Europe. In fact, it is often referred to as the largest German port because of its vital importance to the German economy, since most of the raw materials for German industry arrive through the port of Rotterdam. But the importance of trade and the fact that it has the most important port in Europe is not new to the Netherlands. The Dutch have made international trade their main ally for centuries. Since the 17th century, the Dutch shipbuilding industry developed rapidly. The availability of windmills, a cheap source of oh, energy, the windmills. was present in almost every province. Nice. I have pictures there. And the invention there. of the wind-powered mm -hmm. sawmill made it possible to quickly process wood that was used to make ships. This enabled the port of Amsterdam to become the hub of European trade and to create the Dutch East India Company in 1602, the Dutch which was East considered India. the largest company in history. It was something like the first multinational with 150 trading ships, 50,000 employees, an army of 10,000 men and 40 warships. It was like another state within the Netherlands. It had monopoly privileges and was sometimes granted colonizing functions on other continents. Oh yeah, indeed. But the most important Indonesia. achievement of the Netherlands was that the Dutch East India Company obtained a monopoly on trade with Japan and in turn, through Japan, managed to trade indirectly with China. And that was significant because these Asian countries traditionally distrusted the intentions of Western traders. So, for many years, this Dutch company was the only entrance to the Western world to Japan, which gives the Netherlands exclusivity to trade exotic goods from Asia throughout Europe. Exclusivity? Therefore, from that time on, the north of what would become today the Netherlands would become one of the main intermediaries in international trade. In general, the Republican government of that time was in favor of free trade and the autonomy of each of the seven provinces that were part of the country. It was also tolerant of the establishment so of immigrants who were discriminated against in other yeah. parts of Europe, such as Jewish merchants and French Protestants. Bankers from northern Italy also arrived. All these educated immigrants contributed to making Amsterdam the world's financial and commercial center of the 17th century. Nice. In fact, the world's first stock exchange was established in Amsterdam. And that financial development also explains the current level of wealth in the Netherlands. The residents of that country were famous for their handling of finance and commercial credit. They created products and mechanisms for more and more people to access stock market investment. This oh. attracted investors from all over Europe, so capital was abundant oh. and, as a consequence of the abundant capital, interest rates were lower than in other parts of Europe. But this is not a thing of the past. Today, the Netherlands remains an excellent destination for investors and companies seeking stability and relatively low taxes. This is why Amsterdam made headlines in early 2021 when the United Kingdom left the European Union, as the Amsterdam Stock Exchange overtook the London Stock Exchange as the largest stock trading center in Europe. However, this friendliness to investment and private initiative not only benefits foreign capital as claimed by those who consider the Netherlands as a simple tax haven, 
In one way or another, this environment stimulates the Dutch entrepreneurial spirit. According to the 2019 Global Entrepreneurship Index, the Netherlands ranked 8th with the best score among 137 countries evaluated. In short, free trade, respect for the cult diversity of immigrants and, having created the first stock exchange, has attracted traders, investors and entrepreneurs for centuries. Look at the amount of bikes also. It's a privileged location in yeah. the center of Europe place and to, having to wealthy neighbors such as Germany, Belgium, the United Kingdom and Denmark are reasons that may partly explain why this country is so rich and enjoys the best quality of life indicators. However, as in all countries, the Dutch economy went through a difficult period. In the 1970s, the Netherlands discovered large deposits of natural gas in the North Sea. This, on the one hand, reduced external dependence on energy sources. But, on the other hand, this sudden increase in wealth turned out to be a curse because it contributed to an unsustainable expansion of the welfare state. Mm. Okay, we got it. <laughs> yeah, we got an ad here. Guys, if you want to request a video or support the channel so that Philip can get some YouTube premium, then that would be very helpful. <laughs> the link is in the description or the pinned comment. You can request any video you guys want or become a member here on the channel. Let's go back to the video. Okay. GDP in 1973 to 58% in 1983. It was invested in generous social programs that encouraged healthy people to leave their jobs to rely on state benefits. Unemployment rose from 5% to over 17% in a few years and economic growth was virtually zero despite natural gas revenues. Wow. Consensus on an urgent change in economic policy direction was reached in the early 1980s with an agreement between labor unions and employers. It's a good Wage thing that they acted social quickly. Benefits were moderated to yeah. stimulate labor participation and job creation. Public spending was also reduced. And indeed, the unemployment rate had fallen by the end of the 1980s to levels of 5%. Let me just ask a the question. The idea had begun to spread that the creation of private jobs was the best social policy. Philip? The unemployment rate would rise again to okay. 7% in 2014. Okay. Yeah, let me just I ask a question. For, I was waiting for to, to tell me to, to pause. <laughs> uh guys how is the unemployment today like is the rate still falling how is it because i can imagine you know um with the whole 2020 situation it it how did the netherlands hold up let me know in the comments guys how is the current situation okay let's yeah. go in but in 2020 in the so many bikes. global recession Indeed. it was only 3.8 percent one of the lowest among all OECD countries. Sometimes, due to the success of the employment generation policies, the Dutch case has been considered one of the employment miracles along with other countries such as Switzerland, Australia and Ireland. Wow. But if there is a miracle in this country, it is that it is the second largest exporter of food in the world with such a small territory. The climate, fertile soil and flat land make the Netherlands a perfect place for agriculture. Crops grow relatively easily, but perhaps the most important feature of Dutch agriculture is the use of technology and mechanization wow. of processes. They use robots and machines for almost everything. Their skilled labor force also plays an important role in this field. Wageningen University is the best agricultural education institute in the world. That's awesome. It has numerous research facilities where they are constantly looking for more efficient ways of farming. So. It is wow. not surprising that much Look of the agricultural this, this production is done behind closed doors in huge state-of-the-art greenhouses. Wow. So, innovation, Impressive. geographical conditions, and skilled labor explain part of the Dutch export success. However, there is another reason. About 60% of the products that enter the Netherlands leave the country within a short time in the form of re-exports. This is re known as the Rotterdam effect, referring to the Dutch port mentioned at the beginning. For some countries, it is faster and cheaper to import through the Dutch port. In 2015, huh. less than half of the exports corresponded to domestic exports. That's kind of like the rest drop were re-exports. That is, products <laughs> coming from other countries that only may transit in the port, but statistically are considered as exports from the Netherlands. Nice. In short, this Rotterdam effect boosts the numbers of food exports from this European country. However, this doesn't diminish the fact that it is one of the most innovative free and prosperous countries in the world awesome thanks for wow. watching see you wow. in the next video 
Yeah, and the population of um, the Netherlands um, is quite dense. So even though it, it's not as big as other countries, it's still like very dense. And, and mm -hmm. um, I, I think with the economy um, which, circulating and the skilled workers, I think um, unemployment rates can maintain low even during a crisis. Yeah, so, too. But, okay, we were, we were talking about the economy, but I just wanted to say something about the country itself. That's it, wow, it look, they, it's beautiful. It's a very beautiful place, too. Mm -hmm. Just see the architecture. Indeed. Dude, that was amazing. That, that was gorgeous. The dude. colors the, also. Yeah, the colors, and they, they have, they said that they have the, the flood problem. Which they solved by having this, their structures above the water, yeah. but they have still, in, still have bridges. And you know, Dude, it, that was that looks so beautiful. That looks so cool. Yeah, and, and now I, will, I wish I, I could <laughs> not just visit, but I, I would like to live there too. Yeah, Dude, you're making me, you're making me want to leave my my country right now and live <laughs> abroad. Why are you doing this? Dude? Are you trying to convince me? What are you doing? Dude? Yes, of Is course, of course. Is this why you're showing me the, 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 the riches of the, the other countries? Yes, come come live in Europe. Guys, he lives in Brazil. I live in the UK. I love Europe. He wants me go, to go to Brazil. I want him to come here. So <laughs> yeah. he's found out my plan. But guys, let me let me just say one thing. Um, uh, wait, what was I going to say? I forgot now. <laughs> I was going to say something. I, I think it was about the name of the country because you talked about it being low, right? In Portuguese, it's called uh -huh. Países Baixos, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, which, mm -hmm. which is also which it, it means like a, a low country, like low country, which is that's the translation of Netherlands, isn't it? Netherlands. Uh, I'm not quite sure, sure. actually. Uh, I I think we should make be making a research on that or something yeah Maybe a, a one hour long research yeah will solve the problem <laughs> you guys can <laughs> also <hour> long. <laughs> or you guys can inform us in the comments but i guess Which that's is a it. better way of Indeed. finding out you know <laughs> it is easier <laughs> guys, please help us out in the comment section you guys are the experts and if you guys want us to check out other videos about the netherlands you can request a video link is in the description and the pinned comments don't forget to like and subscribe and support the netherlands here on the channel and we'll see you on the next video you guys can request tourist videos um, or tourism videos history videos economy videos um, singers it's up to you guys use the link video in the videos. description <laughs> video videos <laughs> educational videos and that's it guys non-video videos video what, videos non-video videos a non-video video i don't know what you're on about bro <laughs> maybe we can i mean i mean dude just let me cook up for a for a person second here maybe i maybe i can brainstorm something something revolutionary right now and you and you can be part of it maybe the, the public right here can be part of it i don't know i don't know what i'm saying anymore yeah you should. it's night time I, we should be getting ready to sleep actually you should definitely go live in the netherlands <laughs> Or maybe I should just go to sleep because... Indeed. He's very I'm excited sorry. about the Netherlands, guys. <laughs> so we're going to leave him to it. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Now you can get full access to exclusive content, special reactions to shows, series, anime, full movies, and even request a video of your choice. Just become a YouTube member or join Buy Me A Coffee today. Find out more. The link is in the description. Never break. Always fight. Never quit. Do it right.